Hello everyone and welcome to another Excel Chat video walkthrough. I'm your host Kevin Kelly. Today we're going to be talking about how to count unique values within a column. So typically when you do use um, a function to count certain values within a, a specified region, it might count double values twice. So if you have a 10 and a 10 in the same type of column, it'll count that value twice. And the way that we're going to avoid doing that is by using the advanced filter. So in this case, we're, we have a, a, a list of cities here. And as you can see very clearly, we have London twice, uh, actually three times, uh, in Chicago twice. So we want to say, okay, how many unique values do we have? Now, the way that we're going to do this is we're just going to highlight here our values. And then we're going to go to data and then advanced. Now, once you're here, you're going to want to copy to another location. So, copying it to another location is going to list out the unique values that you find within the specified region that you have highlighted already. So, now you're going to copy to, and let's just copy it here. And then here's the key unique records only. So, we're going to click that, and then we're going to hit OK. OK. So, you can see it copied Paris, London, New York, Chicago, and Dallas as the unique values. So even though London pops up three times, we're only gonna count it once because we want unique values. So Paris, London, New York, Chicago, Dallas, those are the cities that pop up. And now if we wanted to count those, let's say we have a huge data set and we, would, we just wanna get a pure number, then super easy, we do equal rows, parentheses, right here, close parentheses, enter, five. We have five unique values because we know each of these values is unique, so all we have to do is count the rows. If we were to do that here, let's say we do equal rows, parentheses, it's going to give us nine, but that's not the unique values. We have five unique values, we have nine values total. And that is how you count unique values in a column. There are other ways to go about doing it in this article. You can always find this on Excel chat. The title of the article is learn how to count unique values in a column. And if you scroll down, it goes kind of through some formulas that you can use a combination of different formulas. It's a little more complicated than it needs to be. Um, and then as you scroll even further down, you can use it. You, you can find distinct values and frequency using a pivot table as well. So it gets a little more complicated as we go, but we wanted the quick, how do we identify unique values? That's how you do it. Very simple and to the point. Still have questions? Click to get help from a live Excel expert at Excel Chat.